Add to stream. Ah, there we there are. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> technical, technical difficulties. We figured it out. It's been a minute since we've. Uh, yeah, we haven't streamed. streamed from the uh, the studio in a while. Yeah. How is everyone? <laughs> Uh, gotta love it. Gotta you, love I mean, it. like it's it's. We were just doing a J cut where they could hear our voices before they could see <laughs> us. It's just a little J cut, guys. That's it. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Oh man, you never know. You never know what's happening when we go live. Nope. <laughs> Here's this even like. Does does the mic need to be pointed towards us? Are we good? No, they can hear. Okay. They can. They can hear. They can hear the mic. <laughs> go ahead and tell us you can hear the mic. Hi guys. Hello, hello. There wasn't much technical difficulties. We just didn't have our picture going. Yeah, Tyler just didn't click the button that made the the picture pop up on the stream. That was it. Yeah, it was Tyler. It was all me, guys. <laughs> we can hear you. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, oh, goodness. If you can't tell, Anna did get a little sun. She got a little... I'm okay now. I got a little burnt on um, we weren't, Saturday. We weren't ready for... No, because I had like sweatshirts on. So, but the thing is, um, I don't know if anybody else was there this weekend. That's uh -huh. the windiest I've ever seen Universal. Yeah, so probably some of it was probably windburn. Um, there were times where like I would be recording, and I hope the audio came out on some of the videos. I haven't even checked yet. I'm sure it's fine. where like the camera would move. The wind was blowing so hard. So <laughs> yeah, I almost lost there's my, no tell. We were down by Simpsons, uh, like by the ride, and I almost lost my hat at one point. Yes. Uh, spoiler alert for one of the vlogs. I rode Simpsons. Mm -hmm. He did. I did He's... ride Simpsons and I didn't. Um, I'm still alive. So <laughs> we did it. It didn't kill we, him. We it didn't did kill him. It. Oh, that's so funny. Team Ginger. <laughs> yes. Guys, summer is upon proud. us. It like, is. It's it, wild. It, I mean, it just, spring just started technically, <laughs> but summer is upon us. Oh, man. And we have, we're excited about the summer. We've got some things going on. Decided to decided to check everything out. <gasps> Morg. Oh, 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 just, oh. Just Anna, it popped up. Anna. Stop. Hi, y'all. Can't stay lo uh, long work and all. Just want to say thank you all for the advice. So excited for my first trip the end of May. Thank you. Thank, 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 you, thank you for, for this, joining. Yeah. You must be from somewhere in the South using using y'all. Yeah. We, we love we it. We like seeing it. But <laughs> no, we're excited for your trip in May. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a lot of people in here who... Like that have been in the comments saying that they're going to be there in May. So yeah. uh, we will also be there in May. So yep. we hope to see everybody. It'll be a fun time. May's going to be, um, May's going to be, uh, it'll be interesting to see, right? Because it's been busier than what I think most people were expecting. Right. Um, especially, I mean, we saw Hagrid's at 180 minutes this weekend. We did. Um, which, you know is three hours <laughs> uh metric or non-metric it mm. doesn't matter we have heard that they've been having some technical um we've heard issues there's some with, issues with hagrid so that does play into it to some degree but we're interested like all summer to see thank you jacob are gonna be um thank yeah you. yeah we're excited to see what the summer crowds are gonna be like yeah um July could probably be pretty crazy, but I mean, who knows? It's like, also going to be so hot in July. Yeah, it'll be fine. Everybody will. It's still a good time. Like we haven't, we haven't, we haven't found the crowds to be much of a hindrance on us having a good time. Like, no. We just have to do, you just have to do things a little bit slower. That's it. Yeah. Like it's not bad. Gotta put those patient pants on. <laughs> Somebody asked what our favorite restaurant at each park in City Walk is. Ooh, okay. So studios gotta be that great. Restaurant. Oh, like sit down restaurant. Sure. <sighs> we'll go. We'll 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 pretend that that's the way that they were asking it. I don't know. I mean, why does does crepe not count? No. Well, then you go first. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have no idea. Uh, Louis probably. I mean, I know you can pick it up to go, but Louis is good. I like. Lombards is good. So you're going to count Louis, but you don't count crepes. Where do you sit down at crepes? At Cafe La Bamba. <laughs> okay. We'll count crepes. <laughs> crepes <you>. and <laughs> studios. And um, uh, I was really impressed with Confisco this last time. Yeah. 
But Mythos is probably just the best, probably. honestly. Either one of those. But yeah. yeah, probably Mythos. And then out in City Walk, we are big Cowfish fans. Yep, Cowfish. Cowfish has to be has to be our favorite. Yeah. Let's see. Do we go there every day? Um, no. no. Um, so we're we live in Tennessee. Yeah, we don't even live in Florida. <laughs> Hence the shirt. I'm the only ten. I, right. I'm the only ten I see. <laughs> um oh goodness gracious <laughs> but so we live in tennessee so we go about i don't know three times a month <laughs> what <laughs> three days a yeah, month. yeah 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 not like not three trips a month three that was what three, that's no, kind of th- what it sounded like no 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 three days a month three days a month i'm sorry Ooh. oh that's so funny hey let's say go balls is right at cody <laughs> go balls is correct <laughs> Uh, somebody just asked what HHN is. Uh, HHN is Halloween Horror Nights, mm-hmm. and it is a seasonal event that Universal uh, hosts for Halloween. Yes. Uh, it's a really great event. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a it's an after hours event um, in Universal Studios um, yep. where they shut the park down to daytime guests, and they have haunted houses and um, like actors walking around in the street scaring you, um, all kinds of stuff. A lot of fun. Awesome event. Yeah. Somebody asked about the benefits of the seasonal pass. Uh-huh. Here, I want to highlight that comment because this could affect several people, so it's a good comment. Um, any exclusive benefits of the Freedom Pass versus the regular season pass? And so, the Freedom Pass, that's the, um, the military, military pass. Uh, so, with the military pass, um, it's not like a it's an annual thing like a calendar year thing whereas the seasonal pass is like date to date so like if you bought the freedom pass for 2022 it would only go from now through december of 2022 it would not go until this time 2023 versus a seasonal pass which is valid for you know 365 days yeah and that's the biggest and as far as the benefits they're pretty they're basically identical with the seasonal pass um I would have to look at the fine. I think print. you get a bit. I think you get a the, some of the discounts of the higher ones, if I'm not mistaken. Ugh, I'm I'm not I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, I would have to pull that up. I'm not super read up on it. Um, the Freedom Pass is actually really kind of. It's difficult to get. Well, yeah, because I've I've worked um, with some clients that you know were ex-military and they don't qualify. Yeah, and some and didn't Weird. qualify for some reason. So I don't really know. When you call a universal, they don't really know either and they refer you to like a military base. So um Jay Breezy, yeah. thank you for the super chat. It says me and my fiance owe you to a lot. We will be there on May 7th for our honeymoon. I reached out via email listed on YouTube. Hope to buy you two a beer. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He, yeah, he sent you, me an email. You, 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 you catch the emails more often than I do. Uh, he sent, I think he sent one to, um, to my travel email. Oh, okay, okay. I think, okay. I think somebody, somebody that's planning a honeymoon, um, sent me an email looking for help. I'm still catching up on some of those emails from when we're out of town, but, um, oh. Yeah, that's awesome. We yeah, hope you guys you have an awesome time on your honeymoon. Congrats yeah, on your yeah. upcoming marriage. Yeah, that's... you don't you don't owe us anything. No, um, no, no, no. I tell you what you can you what you can do for us. Just have a good time. <laughs> uh, seriously, just like enjoy, enjoy the parks. Yeah, yes. enjoy the parks and have a great time. And of course, I mean you can you can hit that like button if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's free, guys. Yeah, it's free. Uh, shoot, uh, you made me laugh. Oh man! Uh, yes, we we fly to Orlando every time because I, I have a strict rule of six hours, and like if it's six or more hours, I I am not going to be in a car. Also, like if we had to drive, um, that would basically add two additional days onto our trips, and we yeah. just don't have that. Yeah, kind we of both time. work Monday through Friday. Yeah, I mean, I work seven days a week, but most of the time <laughs> it's not n- not as bad. Like she has to be there at a certain time. So, John. Hi, John. I've never been to Universal, but I'm considering getting tickets for the Winter OI meetup. What are your opinions on pros and cons of a meetup being first experience at Universal? Okay, so this is actually a really great question. And it thank, is. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, thank um, you. We think it's a fantastic way to experience the parks the first time because yes. you can try all the foods and like sort of get into a rhythm like what you like, what you don't like without having to... F- Without feeling like it's a waste of money. Like, there's a lot of items that we try at the OI meetup that we won't spend the money to try right. at other times. Mm-hmm. So, it's really good. I think it's really good for first timers because you can get to know the parks extremely well in such a limited amount of time. Right. Um, 
and like you can basically cater your next visit to the parks better like you can yeah. make your next trip even better because you know what you do and don't like in the parks i, I completely agree and like the wait times for the rides yeah. are extremely low so it's basically like having express pass on a slow day yes um i mean most things are are walk-ons 100%. and um uh, taylor and orlando and former are constantly making improvements to the event yeah. so the the food lines are getting shorter um and so it's it really is like the ideal way to kind of experience the parks yeah. for the first time, like Tyler said, because it, you just, you have the time and the ability to do so many things at once. The, the only cons that I can think of that would come from going to an OI meetup first before you visit the parks is you are going to be spoiled. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like it's, it's, it's hard to, uh-huh. it's hard to visit the parks after that. I mean, it's, not, it's never hard to visit, no. the parks, but it's just like, Oh man, I if this was an OI meetup, I could just like go grab a butter beer from right there instead. I yeah. have to pay $8 for it. Yeah, so. I can't try like three different kinds of tots at once yeah. without paying 30 bucks yeah, for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's the only downside. <laughs> Honestly, like we they're think so much they're, fun. They're, they're a lot of fun mm-hmm. and we think they are completely worth it. Worth it. Uh, let's see. Hey guys. Lourdes. Yes. Yeah, so, so we, got to to run into, we got to run into Lourdes and um, I hope I'm not overstepping Lourdes. She, she's trying to, she's trying to groom one of the children to. They're a Gryffindor at the moment, and I think they're wanting them to be a Slytherin. So <laughs> we've got Tom. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, we we can get them there. But it was so nice to see you again. We were so like we were drained of sleep when we ran into you. I literally. So like we we may have been a little bit out of it, but it was so nice to see you. I, like I don't know what it was about this trip, but like we I, were, I'm still not caught up. Yeah. And last night. After work, I took like a two hour nap and then I went to bed at like 10 o'clock and was just out like all night. Like I, I literally slept like 10 or 11 hours. It may have been the Ravenclaw that she was trying to groom. I can't remember. There's one of them that she was trying to switch. She I can't had, remember. She has a Ravenclaw and a, and a Gryffindor. I can't yes. remember which I one. know that she is trying to convert them to Slytherin. <laughs> that part we're sure on. <laughs> that part we're sure on. But thank <laughs> you. Yeah, it was does. awesome seeing you. And Raymond, so thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for putting up with my. No, no, no. <laughs> Like, listen, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank we will, you. We will enjoy some butterbeers. But uh, the the adventure stuff has been, made us laugh. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been really funny because <laughs> I knew, and I didn't know I was going to say anything about it at the end of that video, but no. I knew how many comments we would get that just don't watch to the end. Um, because like I don't think a lot of people realize that I do stuff like that at the end of the videos, like like yeah. that I. Well, you, people can tell when the videos end, and they're like, "Oh, I got what I came yeah. here for," and they click, click off. You know, and so kind of every once in a while, I just add little like snippets just for my entertainment when I go back through and like answer comments and stuff like that. Yeah, because it'll be funny like seeing all those comments. So we had a blast with it. Thank you for having the sense of humor and like <laughs> just like you went through with it and it was it was awesome. It's funny because Tyler's um yeah. Tyler's goal what or you know I mean he, he was making a joke but it, oh, that was the wrong one. It, oh it, it switched it zoomed on me. Yeah. Um you know Tyler's goal was to you know like kind of limit those comments to some degree and yeah. to make a joke and like I think we got 10 times more of those comments because you said that so now some was, people, some people were doing it in jest but yeah well really, that's what I meant yeah, people really were funny. just like I'll show but you. thank you Skip Donald for the super sticker yeah it's, thank uh, you I can see it on the, the phone oh let me see it oh he's here it's because oh, it's... <laughs> here hold on <laughs> That's what it looks like. I love it. That's fantastic. I wish it'd pop up on here where you could see it. They usually do. I know. I'm not sure. Sad boy. I was wondering why it just said super sticker on the computer. It may be StreamYards. Maybe it doesn't like. Um is Felina in here yet? (laughs) Uh can you do a volcano video before May 21st? um probably not unfortunately um so the problem with volcano bay is we don't have a lot of footage from there yeah and Um, i don't have we don't have i need a gopro yeah and once we budget for a gopro we will do uh, like i'm sorry like we we we, we have we have intentions of making some volcano bay content we just can't with our current equipment yeah this it's an awesome camera Definitely not waterproof. Well, the body is actually weather sealed. It's not waterproof. <laughs> Still not taking it to a water yeah, park. Yeah, not taking it to a water park because uh, if something happens to this. Oh, uh, Fawina's sitting there with Crystal. 
Hi, Crystal. Hi, Fawina. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Fawina. I just got to, because I said something incorrectly. So as soon as I say something incorrectly, I expect What'd Fawina. You say? I, I sort of misspoke on something. No, oh, I didn't catch it. Yeah, I do it all the time. I didn't catch it. So I just expected Fawina to pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's mm-hmm. seriously become a big joke. Um, there's three <laughs> or four times in videos this week that Anna will say something. And as soon as she says it, she says it wrong. And I'm just like, yeah, Fawina. Oh, yeah. He was saying that after like some of the food names with the Mardi Gras food are like complicated, you know, like I have no idea if I'm saying them correctly or not and uh so I'd I'd attempt to say it until he'd be like okay Fawina it's like all right listen 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 Carrie thank you Carrie Carrie. Uh, amazing from Huntsville Alabama that's close just bought season passes for the first time and HHN tickets for opening weekend we'll be there um do you have any idea if and when they release express passes for HHN so they will. That you are never guaranteed that they release express passes for HHN. Mm-hmm. What I will say is express pass makes Universal a lot of money. Yes. And they have never not sold. Well, since they started selling express passes for the event. They haven't. They not. have never not sold express passes for the event. So I would expect to see those sometime in June, July. Yeah. Uh, that would be my best guess. We, but, we would assume. We assume there are more tickets coming. Yes. Um, like the the you know frequent fear passes, yes. and we, and my guess would be they would release all of that at the same time. Yeah, so. all that will come at the same time. But mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely, we will be there opening weekend. We hope to see all of you there. I think you can just hit that yeah, one and okay. swap them out. And there we go, Angela. Thank Angela, you. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. We're headed to HHN for three nights in October and doing an RIP tour. HHN mm. stays open late. Do all the rides stay open as well? Not all of them. Not all rides are open for HHN. Right. Um, I can name a few that generally are. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's subject to change. Uh, At any but point historically, time. you um, rip ride. Rip ride. Mummy. The mummy, which a mummy will be back open. Well, in if, October, if, if it's if, if everything if goes everything as planned, goes as scheduled. mummy should be back open because it's late summer. Yes. So that would September at the latest. Um, Men in Black, mm-hmm. uh, Green Gots, yeah, uh, Simpsons, yeah. I believe Th- those five are generally always open. Yeah, it's pretty much just the big ones. Yeah, and then after that, uh, it's Transformers is also is also open. Yeah, Transformers it, is also. Um, open. There are some of them like. Um, uh, the coasters that shut down before the event is officially over, I believe. The co- oh, like a noise ordinance. Yeah, thing. because yeah. of noise ordinances. Yeah. So some of them may not be open for like all of that. Time. May not. Yeah, may not be open. But for the entire but those are the time, one, but Yeah, like like later the- in the evening, some of them have to shut down yeah. before the event's over. But we hope to see you at HHN. Yeah, have fun with that RIP and, tour. And Fawina coming in. <laughs> Butterbeer butter and pizza. pizza. Thank you so much. We, uh, we haven't had dinner yet, so maybe yeah. maybe, <laughs> maybe we get pizza for dinner tonight. <laughs> Can't do the butterbeer, but thank uh, you, We Fawina. could go to um, it's, Books uh, a Million and get the, the bottled stuff. Am, am I ever going to call them by the, like, am I ever going to no. call you fun in a bun? I just don't think so. You're just, no, he's you're Fawina. Just, you're just Fawina. He's bun. Fawina now. You're f- Not <laughs> even Fawina bun, just Fawina. Fawina. Uh, we've renamed you. Sorry. Did I not mention Men in Black for the rods that are open? Men in Black. You is did. Okay, you said I was Men in Black. Say, Men in Black's always open. Yeah, you did. Most excited about an Epic Universe. Doctor, mm. go ahead. Doctor Eight, <laughs> Elastastis. Drake. <No. laughs> he 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 was in I here know. for Fuina. I know. Like I was just. I know. Go I'm ahead, gonna, Anna. No, I'm good. I'll no, pass. Go ahead. You're making fun of me now, so I'll pass. Um, go ahead, Anna. Turd bucket. Um. <laughs> Uh, so most excited about it, Epic. Mo- the Monsters area looks pretty cool. So I think mine has to be Nintendo World. Okay. Just because I've seen it at Japan. I, I've seen pictures. Yes, yeah, I think mine is Monsters. Universal Monsters because I've always wanted them to have a bigger part in the... That's just... In, is that rumored or... It's rumored, but it's... It's rumored, but <laughs> but like on the rendering that you can see. Okay, okay, okay. It, so it's like legitimate rumors. Yeah, okay. it's like it's they've kind I always, of always always forget like where things fall there. Um, so yes, definitely. Uh, mine pro- is probably Super Nintendo World just because it looks fantastic, and then you know the the potential for for more Wizarding World stuff excites me as well. Yeah. And also, I just think it's there's just so many potentials with the classic monsters mm-hmm. because like you could have like a, an awesome roller coaster and then mm-hmm. like go into Dracula's castle and then also have 
a water ride with like the creature from the Black Lagoon. That ride that, that, that would be such a good that, one. That right? area could just be such like could just have so many different rides well, to attract so many different like, people. I've just really excited. I'm so about. excited you can click the next one, but I'm so excited about like the immersiveness. Like yes. they, they've kind of hit a new level, yeah. you know, with theme parks. And yeah. so I just think the entire park's gonna be yeah. unbelievable. Marcy, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey guys, me and the fam are planning to head to Orlando next year. Ooh, love your job. videos and it's really helped me plan out my vacation. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank like we you. love hearing that we have actually helped people. I know. Sometimes we it's, feel it really it's so nice because like we just talk at a at a camera, yeah, you know? Like, and so it being like we've had we had so many people this trip come up to us and it was just like, hey, thank you so much. And like we just can't express how much it means to you to us like when y'all come up and tell us like yeah how you helped us plan this or like because just being a small part of y'all's vacation means a lot to us well and it's also like you know we understand that like for a lot of people when they start thinking about planning a universal vacation it's, it's like, like oh my gosh like that's such a like a big expensive yeah big undertaking an expensive vacation and we were there the first thank few times again. we went yeah thank you thanks doc uh, um <laughs> just waiting and, for her to say your name and uh so like it, it's just nice knowing that like we've saved people some of the like the headache yes, that we went through. absolutely and, and so, with epic opening up we've got like yeah like i say opening up we got like two years guys but that's gonna be huge like we're gonna <laughs> We're going to get to learn so much about that. And like, we're going to learn with you guys. And we're so excited for that. Yeah. Murdoch. Hey, my daughter and I are standing at Royal Pacific at the end of May. First time at Premier Hotel. Ooh. When do the water taxis start and end? So water taxis start an hour before park open. I believe it's the same as the buses. Yeah. So, yeah. And they end the last like one, an hour or like 30 minutes after. Uh, I think the last bus is 15 minutes after City Walk closes. Water taxis. Yes. Water taxis. They're, I think it's. It might be 15 minutes. I think it's 15 minutes because we were on yeah, a water taxi right. and they announced that like the last one, it was at 2.15. And so City Walk yeah. either closes at midnight or 2. Yeah. And so it must be 15, 15 minutes, minutes after, after City Walk closes. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time for the parks closing. Yes. That's the best thing about You'll staying, love Royal Pacific as well. That's the best thing about staying on site is that the transportation always lines up. Like, you know, you don't have to worry about the hours. Oh, what's the best? Well, I mean, Yeti. Hey, Yeti. The pizza yeah. pretzel. Ooh, yes. The pizza pretzel is really good. So, I've never gotten one at the... Or I know in former made up. No. We, we will say that about not everything is open. Not right. not one hundred percent. Most of it Most is. Most of it is. Though. Um, I don't know if if the pizza pretzel stand is or not. There's another place you can get it apparently. Yeah, somewhere in studios. Yeah, Somebody yeah. said it. it uh, I can't it maybe, remember. I think it's somewhere close to Today Cafe, like up yeah, front. Yeah. Uh, but um, so one butter thing, beer for me. Though. One thing I really like about um the Orlando Informer meetup is that they saw, they serve slightly smaller portions. Yeah. Um, so you can just like snack around with things yeah. and um, butterbeer's a good one. I would probably say tots. Yeah. Tots are also good. Yeah. Thank you, Yeti. Uh, Crystal. I tell uh, anyone I, I can the Fawina story. Our tattoo artist now calls them that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I it's, love it. We're, we're going to make a Fawina shirt. Mm -hmm. Like we're good. We're just going to make a Fawina shirt for everybody. <laughs> Like, because like, I've got the hand drawn one that I've worn to the parks a couple of times, but, and people love it. And yeah. like, I, but I want, oh, I want to make a real one. Okay, we can get. Um, Thank you, Chris. We can get Molly in on it. And Felina, <laughs> when if you guys have children, you will all be set with those dad jokes. Oh, um, like if that was to ever happen, uh, my kids would like, you know, like how you just see kids like so embarrassed of their dad. <laughs> Dad, like, yeah, one hundred percent. My kids would be like, yeah. We got all kinds of nieces and nephews being embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got nieces and nephews that uh, once they get into like high school and stuff, I can, I can have a good time with them. Fuzzy, I uh, just found out our little gym franchise is holding its annual conference in Orlando in October. Ooh. Perfect timing um, for HHN. We're so pumped. I think there used to be a little gym in Cookville. I'm not sure. Uh, that's awesome, though. It's a small world. That's awesome. I feel like yeah. how how long ago, yeah. Fuzzy? Because yeah, like for know. some reason, I feel like the the weird gym across from Kroger could be it. I don't know. If you stay on site for the absolutely, absolutely, yep. you can still get stuff sent to your hotel. Anytime you're on site, you can have stuff sent to your hotel. Um, this one was about to expire, so, so I wanted to click on it before. she's saying during the event, like after Ooh, hours. That's a good that's question. That's what she's asking. I don't know. I'll so I'll ask. Text him. I'll ask. I'll ask. Yeah. Um, 
because everybody can text. Like, yeah, he's got that text he's line. He's got that text That's line. That's what I was talking about. He's yeah. got the text line. Um, I'll, I'll ask, and mm -hmm. then we'll get back to you. Like, yeah. Because you comment all the time. I'll, I'll get back to you. Because I don't know for sure. Cause, yeah, because I don't want to tell you yes and it not be able to happen. During the event, I'm not sure. That is a great question. Yeah, Mr. JH, <laughs> thank you so much. I know it's never occurred, but with all the lakes in EU, I was hoping to bring over Waterworld from Hollywood. Um. Probably not. Yeah, the franchise is just too old. What is I don't Water know. Water World? It's an old. It's a. You've probably never seen it. Is maybe it from movie? the yeah. Oh. Is it maybe from the nineties? Oh okay. I'm, oh okay. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Maybe yeah, from the probably, 90s. probably too old. These young kids anymore? <laughs> probably not. But it would be cool. I'd like to see them do something like a. I'd like to see a water show at in Orlando of some sort. Yeah, like not just the like projection show on the water. I'd yeah. like to see a water show of some sort. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Well, um, let's let us know if we missed something. Yeah, Jay Breezy, what future plans or parts do you have in mind? Uh, any info on any connecting parts? So Breezy, we do have intents. Yes, on jumping into. Other the, other, the other parks right it's just right now not being down there this is a good this is a good like this is a good question for us to sort of talk about our like some future ideas um so not not living in orlando it's hard right yeah. because if you look at disney like specifically their annual passes not being a florida resident the only one that we have access to is the highest tier one which i don't think they're even they're only they're, they might, might be selling that one or they What's might not be the Disney's only selling one of their annual passes. I don't think they're selling any right now. Oh, okay. I thought there was one that they were, but anyway, so like the highest tier annual pass is like $1,500. And yeah. so that, that would be three grand for us to get Disney passes when they were selling them because we're out of staters. And, and then there's the logistical issues of the fact that like, when we go down, like, you know, even if we were to branch out um, into other parks, like, most of our content would still be at Universal. Yeah. And so we don't have, we fly down, so we don't have a car. Yeah. Right. So, so, like, logistically, right now, getting to the other parks is just really hard. Hopefully that changes this summer. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, we, we understand that, like, a lot of you are here because you love Universal. You're like us and you love Universal. But also, I mean, I think it's interesting to experience other parks. Like, yeah. Like, we would love to add, you know, all the parks in Orlando, but mm -hmm. like, eventually, like, randomly like you know go to universal hollywood uh universal right. we would Japan. love we would love like, to get to uh hollywood for hhn yeah like i think that's a Check real possibility there, but... this year is for us yeah. to go to hollywood for hhn that and just cool. to bring y'all as much content as possible from like all the parks yeah um because i don't think y'all want to watch us like go to walmart or anything like that like <laughs> no y'all um, don't want us to be like hey but, like we would love they've got this new wendy's frosty cereal let's go like <laughs> that sounds just... fun to me um Let's go. <laughs> um, we uh, we sorry. we we definitely like want to get to like Sea World and check out some of their coasters. They're supposed to have great coasters and and things like that. Tyler has only ever been to Magic Kingdom at um, the Disney here. Yeah, I've, it's cool. I've never I've never experienced yeah Disney, so it would be fun to Joey, do that. Joey, what's up from Philly? Philly. Um, with, with my family here at Universal. Oh, great weather. That's Rode awesome. Rode the Simpsons ride today, and yeah, I got God, just like... yeah. Welcome to the club. Oh, you had your first butter beer. That's exciting. Which one did you get? Yeah, you which one did you get? And, and which know. one did you enjoy? Yes, 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 like, yes. Um, did, and did you like it? Because we had somebody mentioned the other day. They saw us. And they're like, hey, tried butter beer. It sucked. And we we're just like, you know, I like I have friends that are wrong and I like them still. <laughs> so <laughs> like, like Fawita and them saying regular if, butter beer is if, the best. If, if, if that person's watching, we we totally get it. It's not for everybody. <laughs> He's but, just joking. Yeah, yeah but, but butter butterscotch can be a um, a polarizing flavor to some degree. Some yeah. people love it. Some people hate it. So yeah. we get that. More again. Do you know if they're sending merchandise to your room? Includes packaged food, snacks like cauldron cakes. So I have sent the. Um, I thought it was sitting over there. What? No, it's down there. This the box. Um, the name's not coming to my head. The Weezy's, the Weasley's, Weasley's uh, the uh, Shiv, the, the Shivin, um, the... Mike, <laughs> Mike, help, Mike, Mike what's Mike, the Weasley's I'm crashing box? and burning. <laughs> what's, what's the Weasley's box? Mike, the, the box Mike, with help. all the goodies in it. Mike, you're, you're our mod, help. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you got me. Um, Steven, yeah, yeah, th- th- yeah, okay. that's it. yeah, that's it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, it, it's got like the puking so, pasties. But all uh, of those are like pla- pa- packaged in plastic. And yeah. so I don't know if that makes a difference. I would assume things that are in boxes like the cauldron cake, yeah. they probably would. No guarantee on like the shape that it gets to your room in. Um, but I don't know that for sure. Don't do it, Mike. <laughs> I, could, I just couldn't. Yeah. T- like the for some box. reason, the name wasn't coming to my head. <laughs> and I was just like, what my, is it called? My, <laughs> Mike, help me. My- <laughs> Like, and I, if there's one person that I know is going to know, it's Mike. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Hey, that guys, I got good. something for us to try. Anna said not she me. wanted to try it on nope. stream. Nope, I'm not trying it. So, I don't know. I, I got it more because I think it's hilarious. I was just making sure we didn't miss okay. anything. Oh, there. Paulina. Okay, so regular for the win. Let's go. Paulina, I believe that poll ended in a tie, and that's only because I didn't see it until after the poll ended. Yeah, there you go. It would have won. I had the uh I had the vote in our private Facebook group. I had the vote to win it. And I didn't do it. Wyoming, uh, I just saw, but thank you for the super chat. Um Wyoming, I just saw said wants to go to Dollywood. So so Dollywood's great. Yeti, I know that you're like a foodie. Um, like you talk about being a foodie in the parks. Dollywood has great Dollywood food. is honestly my favorite food um theme park that I've ever been to. Yeah, those like, uh the like, cinnamon bread, the funnel all, cakes. We always talk about the cinnamon bread, but like all of their food is good. Yes. Like, they like, have like good barbecue. Yes, like it, it's seriously oh. for somebody who likes to go to the parks and like eat like we do, I, it's it's a fa- and there's really good rides as well, but the, yes, but the the food is and, just and like better than anywhere else. Their I've ever shows been. are great too. And like it during yeah. Christmas and even they like they decorate for uh, Halloween and stuff. It's so cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, hey, Tyler, you clicked on the wrong one. Oh, pay attention when you click. Hi, Julia. <laughs> we we want to go to SeaWorld as well. Yeah. Um, Marissa, Marissa Van Epps, do you recommend Haggard's or Velasco first thing during early? It depends. So has that video come out? We talked about that. In the yes, day. we did an early part. Okay, so we uh, did an video. early part video where we sort of discussed this. So mm-hmm. it's a good question. I believe if you're in line, I think we both agree with this. If you're, if you get to the parks before they open, mm-hmm. and you're fairly, you know, and you're fairly far up there, uh-huh. I, I think you get Hagrid's line. Yes, one hundred percent, because you can be off of it in thirty minutes. Right, but if you're not in the first, like you know, big wave of people that run through the gates, what you need to do um, is you need to go well you need to go to Hagrid's and check the wait time um and see where that line is at and if it's above 120 minutes like you can find it at that or shorter i think what's up oh oh and then so if you're to continue with that i've mm-hmm. got an answer for something um to continue with that also um with the velocicoaster it just never has that long of a line Right, specifically in the mornings because so many people are going to Hagrid's. Yeah. That if Hagrid's is over, yeah. is if Hagrid's is a decent weight, just go jump on and off the Lost Coaster and then go to. I would love to go to Epcot during Food and Wine and Yeti. Like Ooh, we need yes. to do that. Yes. But yeah, so uh, it just depends. If you're there early enough, Hagrid's for yeah. sure. Yeah, it all depends on what the Samuel, weight Hagrid's is. Samuel, uh, do sure. you guys ever plan on moving to Orlando? That's like, obviously, we would love to do that. Yeah. Um, but some things have to happen before so, yeah, we realistically can't do yeah. that, and we're trying to make them happen. But yeah, but like realistically, absolutely, like we would love to do that. Mm-hmm. So I can't remember who uh, John uh, John asked right about about sending merchandise to the room, right? Somebody did. So per um, thank you mods for sending this to us per last year's event mm-hmm. uh for merchandise may for merchandise pur- purchases this is for the Orlando uh, Orlando former event in december or november december the winter meetups last year okay uh for merchandise pur- purchases made at universal's islands of adventure and universal studios florida package pickup is located at universal Studios stores located in city walk okay this service will conclude at 10 30 um hours 11 a.m through midnight um so you can purchase stuff and send it out to the store, but okay. apparently not to the not to your room. 
Okay. All right. So this is similar to like, um, you can actually do this even if you're not staying on site Yeah. Um, so. when you're at the parks. So for uh, package pickup, if you're like staying off site and you want to send something, they'll send it to um, the, the universal store out in city walk. And so apparently that's um, the same thing. So, but it it, is... did it say it concluded at 1030 at night? Yes. Okay. So you have to um, make your purchases before 1030. Yeah, yeah. You have to make your purchases before 1030. Um, so. Rafi, yes, we would. It, it does look expensive. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, us two. Somebody said us, Jackie and Sam road trip. That sounds. We awesome. we so we didn't get it. We didn't get the ple- We like we didn't have the pleasure of meeting Sam this last trip. Yeah. Um. But we we really hope. We really hope to get to meet him uh, sometime in the near future because yeah. Jackie was amazing. Like we've she was met, so sweet. We, we've met Jackie before. Yes, we we had um, we had seen Jackie um, a, a couple of times. Specifically, yeah. the first time we met her was for the Velocicoaster and event. Jackie is just like one of the most genuine people you will ever she has come across. So much energy, yeah. like the way that she seems in her videos is one hundred percent how she is in real life. Like it's and adorable. I've never been like intimidated. Like I'm. I'm shy to film in public anyways, Ooh. like, but filming in front of her was almost intimidating because like, it's like, I can't do what she does. Like, she's just so good. She really like, is. So it was just, it was we fun. It was fun to watch. We and would she, love, it. that would be such fun road trip. Like there are definitely times that we are probably going to hang out with Jackie and we're not going to vlog it just because we want to hang out with Jackie. We, we want to <laughs> hang out. Like we, we can just have a good time with her. Yes. We're excited to meet Sam. Yeah, of course. Uh, um, it was one thing I'm worried about Universal as a bigger guy being able to ride rides, stand outside like your last video, be there in 10 days. So, David, I um, I can sympathize with you a little bit. So, I, I'm not exactly small, um, but I have lost a significant amount of weight in the last like two or three years. Yeah. Um, not in the last two or three years. I guess now it's been like not it's three. a lot. Yeah, it's been a while back now, but. I lost about a hundred pounds. So I, there are rides that are not exactly big person friendly. Um, but m- m- some of them are way more accommodating than what they say. Like mm-hmm. there, there are rides that are like, if you exceed a 40 inch waist, like you can't get yeah. on them. And that's just not the case. Cause I know for a fact I was much larger than well, a 40 inch waist back and, yes. when we first started going and I could ride most of the rides. Um, well, and another thing is like, it also depends on like your shape. You know, like it, it, it specifically, it depends on how that restraint hits you. So don't, don't let things that you, you read online potential, like, you know, get you like too, too upset before yeah. you get down there. Yeah. But you know, we, we hope you have a great, yeah, you'll time. have a good time. Let us know how it goes. Seriously. Barry, um, we got, we got something from you today and it made us laugh very hard. Thank you. Barry sent us a very, <laughs> it was hilarious. He Barry. sent us an April Fool's he Day sent joke us an April to Fool's, our P.O. box. An April Fool's Day joke to our P.O. box, and it made us laugh so hard today. So thank you for that, it Barry. Did, it got us, Barry. Yeah, Barry, you got like, us. Barry, like, we laughed. We laughed really, really hard. And thank you for, for all your postcards. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you so much. You, like, you always make our day, Barry. Yeah, like, we open up, a, we, like, we can always open it up and get a smile because we know that Barry has sent something to the P.O. box. And it's just, thank you so much, Barry. Yeah. Lachey, reminder to the two that have made me trip longer than it was supposed to be VIP June 5th, 2023. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, thank you uh, for the super chat. And uh, sorry that we've made the trip longer, but also like you have to be addicted if we're addicted. <laughs> Those are the rules. If we're addicted, you're addicted. Them's the rules. Yeah, we don't make the rules. We just follow them. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So good. So good. <laughs> so what I was talking about earlier that I bought for Anna and I both the Tron. I am not trying it. Take guesses. Take guesses. Take what, guesses. What is it, guys? Take a guess. What is it? What did Tyler buy that I refuse to eat? <laughs> they do not honor the refillable cups at the Hard Rock. No. They, they'll probably give you water. They might give you water in it. I don't know if they have, like, fountains. <laughs> If ma- if money wasn't an option, which annual pass would we recommend? The Premier Pass. Like, oh yeah, it has some is- benefits. Absolutely. Yeah. Beans. Beans is a great guess, but something sweet and peanut buttery. You got it. You got it, yeah. Mike. Yep, peanut butter. So Reese's peanut butter. You're 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 on the right track. Something cream cheese and peanut butter. Um, I like peanut butter. I just so- don't like 
sweet peanut butter. So right before we got home, we we had to go to we had to go to the store. Yeah, and we were I grocery saw, shopping. I saw this and I was just like, I've got to try that because what can be special about it? Mm-hmm. Oh, bam! Cover your face. Cover your face. I'm Get covering off my Get face. Get off camera. Oh, there it goes. Organic Reese's. <laughs> organic Reese's. Like, <laughs> this doesn't even have calories, guys, because it's organic. We can just... I knew it was blurry. That's why I was telling us to cover our face. There we go. Um, so, Nurse Sheik, uh, I heard that there are some attractions that pregnant women can participate in, but what other ways do you recommend them to enjoy their stay? So, I know um, Shrek used to be one, but it uh, it shut down. Um, Minions, in particular, has some stationary seats. Um, and so, like, you know, most of the seats, like, move. Uh, but Minions, I believe Jimmy Fallon's has some stationary seats as well. I'm not. In the back row. Maybe. But um, but Minions does for sure, so they don't wiggle around. So, you can sit there and, like, watch the 3D um uh, like watch the screens. Um, so definitely, definitely that, uh, Poseidon's Fury would be a good one. If you're like, if your feet just, don't hurt too bad, cause you can just the through. shows in general. Yes. Yes. Just but the shows. In a, general. a lot of people don't realize, um, on the front end that Poseidon's Fury isn't a ride. Yeah. It's a walk. And, and it's, and you never sit down. So like if your feet are hurting, don't yes. do that one. Yes. Um, but all of the shows are fantastic. Like Born Stuntacular, horror makeup show. Uh-huh. Um, trying to think of, other things I mean, you, you can do, do magic in in the harry potter world ollivander's show yeah the wand experience high in the sky Sue's trolley yeah probably Sue's trolley is probably okay yeah it's probably um, fine cat in the hat's probably fine yeah i don't think they have what when i say they're probably fine i'm not giving you like advice but what they, i'm I, I know that some of the rides have a pregnancy warning. Yes. And then some of them don't. Yes. And I'm trying to yeah. remember the ones and, that don't and have so a pregnancy So you could pull warning. up, like, if you went to Universal Zap and pulled up, like, the uh, like kitty attractions. Yeah. Um, that, like, you can uh, sort by kid. Uh, and then you could click on them and see if they have that pregnancy warning. So um, we would we would recommend you. Harry Potter is a big fan. I've got to find this now. Did Harry Potter comment? We, he's been in here before. Yeah, Jim. See, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's in here. Hey, Eddie, hey. Eddie, Eddie said that it had um <laughs> that uh, Jimmy Fallon's had stationary. I was pretty sure they did. Oh, okay. Disclosure Tower is not a doctor. That is correct. Yes. And I, I've never even played one on TV, so don't <laughs> believe anything that I say. Yes, take take all of Universal's precautions. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try these organic. Like these have got to be like just. The most delicious things ever. They're organic. Like I bet they're worse than the. Th- they don't ones. even count. One hundred. Like this. This is organic chocolate. <laughs> this doesn't even count as chocolate. Sugar's still sugar. Organic sugar. <laughs> oh wow. Um. I mean, like, Oreos are vegan. That doesn't make them healthy. <laughs> That's atrocious. Yeah, I could have told you it was going to be bad. Is it that bad? You're not even going to finish it? No, it's like, no, it's not any good. <laughs> it's not any good. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I'm just glad Reese's doesn't sponsor us right now. That's awful. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what they did to it. That's not a Reese's. It's just all the, all the good stuff out. Woo. Okay. Um, I told you it had organic sugar. I wasn't kidding. It yeah. says it. <laughs> Okay, Cody said, I heard there might be a Harry Potter ride based on the Ministry of Magic at Epic Universe. Have y'all heard anything about that? Y'all are the best. Oh, thank you, yeah. Cody. We've heard the same things y'all have heard. Yeah. We, we don't have, have any like. No, we have no idea if there's any merit to them. We hope. That sounds awesome. But yeah. we've been uh, hearing about like a Ministry of Magic thing for a while. Like for a little bit, that was the rumor um, as far as um, the uh, Fear Factor Stadium. Yeah, yeah. We- that something could go there. And we don't talk, like, we're cool to talk about this stuff. We don't talk about it in videos and stuff because, like, we don't want to ever talk about something that's not true yeah. necessarily. Like, I mean, we say stuff that we're incorrect about all the time, but it, we, it's not on purpose. Right. Um, <laughs> but, like, the rumors and stuff, we just have no idea. So, like, we don't want to comment on it. But we have heard people talking about that. Yes. And it would be really cool. Like, Yes, absolutely. We would love that, but we we, we can't we I, can't tell you one way or another. We have no privy to information that y'all don't have. Yep. Like, yep, yep, yep. We, I mean, I'm going to take another bite out of it. <laughs> this is so terrible. I can't For believe science. it. Nom, nom, nom. That can go down there. <laughs> it's like really salty. 
Yeah. I guess it has organic salt in it too. <laughs> Fridgy. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Um, what other tickets do you need to do the Halloween Horror Nights RIP tour? I'm planning to go this year. Can't wait to try Butterbeer in Orlando to see if it's good as Harry Potter World in London. Oh, that's Ooh, interesting. We want to we want to go to London and try yes. to see if it's as good as in Orlando. Yes. So. <laughs> We'll have a we'll have a battle, Cridgy. Uh, <laughs> um, so for the um, RIP tour, you still have to have tickets to HHN. So that does not get you entrance into the event. Um, correct. I gotta yeah, wash the salt down. You're fine. Uh, so you still have to have a ticket to HHN, and if you're wanting to go to the parks during the day, you have to have a daytime park ticket as well. However, if you have a ticket just for HHN, you can get. In most years, they have something called a scream early pass that will get yes. you into the park like three hours early. Yes. Um, it, and it's not much money. I can't remember exactly what, what they took. It's like are. 20 bucks or but, something. 25 but thank bucks. you, Cridgy. You'll yeah. have to let us know how the Butterbeer compares. Is your favorite Pokemon a Pidgey? <laughs> Go ahead. Jason, um, does motion sickness meds work after you get motion sickness? Well, I'm not a, not a doctor. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. I'll tell you what I do. I take... I take my, the stuff that I choose to take, um, which is like, just, I just take a. Just the stuff you can buy at the drum, store. Dramamine. Yeah. Dramamine. I was trying to remember sometimes, which one I take. Sometimes the off um, of it. I, t- I take it before we enter the parks is yeah. how I, is how I deal with it. So. Yeah. But not. Somebody doctors. said organic Reese's. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life, <laughs> but um, I just take it. But back to Jason, thank you for the super chat guys. Uh, uh I just take I just take Dramamine and it seems to help. The only thing it doesn't help with is Simpsons. I still get sick on Simpsons even when I take Dramamine. You did okay this last time. I didn't do bad. I, the first the first half I was good, and then the second mm-hmm. half I was just like I felt myself like slowly like just Sl- sinking back. in the seat. I was just like, oh no, it's happening. <laughs> so <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> what I can I can just feel it. Like oh, I man. I can just feel it like. It's just like you get like huh. the first thing that happens is your face gets flushed, you get hot, and then it's just like, yep, mistakes have been made. I have never experienced that. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's see. What do you recommend for grad venture? I have no idea. I don't idea know what, what that is. is. No, no idea. We aren't sure. What happened to Hagrid's Breezy? Uh, thank you for the super chat. Um, we're we're not positive what happened. Oh, with the technical difficulties. Yeah, uh, they've had trouble with the launch system. They've had trouble with the spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. If you haven't ridden Hagrid's in <laughs> three years, it's been <laughs> open. <laughs> um, there's a drop section on the coaster that they have had trouble with. Yeah. And so that could be one of the issues. That would be my guess. Like if one side of the drop was closed, it could cause it to pile up. Yeah, because we've ridden it several times where that drop section like, like messes up. up. Yeah, like you drop and then you just sit there and it, it doesn't like connect to the next track. Um, mm. And it takes a little bit. So that would that would be something, my guess. something like that. Um, but we don't we don't it, know. It's either with the launches because they've had trouble with that or it's with the drop because mm-hmm. they've had trouble with that. that. I mean, that would make the most sense. I'm not right. I can't say for sure, but that that, that would is make our it, estimate. Yeah, because they've had trouble with it since it's opened. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Grad Venture is Grad Bash for middle school. Oh, oh. that's awesome. So cool. what was the question again? Somebody asked about Grad Venture. What do you recommend for Grad Venture? I um. Oh, uh, have fun. Yeah. Right, every, right, everything. It's awesome that they do that for schools around there. That's incredible. So jealous. Like, uh, Carrie, it's not closed. Or Corey, I thought it said Carrie. Yeah, it's, it's not closed. No, I think it's just one one side. They're having issues. Yeah, with- like, I don't even know if it's the one side thing. Could, like, okay. Like, I'm just guessing. We, yeah, that we just know that they there have been some difficulties, like probably with delays and things like that, that yeah. have made the wait times higher. Because I'll say this. The wait time was higher mm-hmm. while we were there, mm-hmm. but the crowds weren't bigger. Right. Yeah. So the wait time was higher. The crowds aren't bigger. That, but the the coaster's still running. So that tells you that it's probably something to do with one side of the track. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they so, can't run as many carts. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Because and if people don't know what we mean by one side, when you back into the cave, there are two different like caves. So they and can so, keep things going. Right. So they can run more carts. And so if one of the drops like in the caves is having issues, yeah. then they they can't get people on and off as quickly. Yeah, this, that, that's our guess. We, this is, we yeah, don't know. Yeah, this is just deductive reasoning. Like, yeah, like the fact that we didn't see them. There weren't carts running without. Although I will, we do have an angry story about Hagrid's that is coming up right after this. Um, we never saw carts running that didn't have people on it. We never saw carts stopped in the middle of the track or anything like you yeah. used to in the lodge system. Right. But the line, but the line was three hours. So, and it, and it could be that they're doing, they could be doing like seasonal maintenance they on could. both sides and mm. be like alternating which one they're running. We, we have no idea. Yeah. We uh, just know that like the crowds were shorter than they were, or, you know, wasn't as busy as when we went in March, but the wait time for Hagrid's was yeah. higher. That's See, all we know. He said yeah. Hagrid's is 140 minutes right now. Yeah. So, it, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's probably running, it's just running at half capacity or something yeah. like that. And that generally means that one side of it's probably messed up exactly. exactly or they're or they're working on one side of it yes um so the angry hagrid story <laughs> are y'all so ready terrible. for this are y'all ready for um wait did somebody say you're not somebody said you're not right all the time no i mean yes but no uh, well, we've made some mistakes in a couple of videos people love to to shout those out, uh, which is perfectly fine. We, yeah. we need to know when we're wrong yeah. so we can fix it. Uh, here, we'll hit this first, okay. and then I'll tell the angry story. James, Derek, can't wait for our visit. Ten days at the end of July. Ooh. Last time was Hagrid's opening day. That's awesome. 14 hours long. That is not awesome. Uh, we were staying at <laughs> Disney, but doing their parks and buying Premier Pass. Any tips? Thanks for your videos. Um, so, if you're doing Premier Passes, mm -hmm. um, Express after four. Express after four is a big one. So, like, we would hit up Hagrid's before four o'clock. So you're and not waste, So you're not yeah Hagrid's Velocicoaster before four o'clock. So you're not wasting any of that express time that you do have after four. Right. And you can just like jump on those coasters. Right. Uh, and like before the four o'clock time. So that that like that's perfect. Yes. Like that that would be our thing. And then, um, I probably wouldn't get there. I would either get there. <sighs> several hours before not several hours sorry like 30 minutes to an hour before park opened or i'd wait until like after, an hour after park opens to daytime guests because the drop-off could be hectic if you yeah. don't so yeah. i would probably i'd either get there super early or wait like an hour um that's a good one all right angry angry haggard story time oh angry haggard story time here we go so <laughs> anna and i play rock paper scissors here watch Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Like, and I win every time because, like, I just play mind tricks with her. Watch this. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! I won! <laughs> like the first time ever. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we play rock, paper, scissors to see, to see who gets um, the bike. The bike. Mm -hmm. And as we're, as we're walking up to the line, I have one rock, paper, scissors, mm -hmm. uh, as always. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I just give it to her, though. <laughs> uh, and I see that we're going to be first. I do the math. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap, we've got first row. We have only had front row one time. And ever. he rode the bike. And I rode bike. Yes. So I've never ridden bike on front row. So I was like, hey, you're, you're, get, get in the bike. Yeah. Get in the bike. Go. Like we're getting front row. So we're like, sitting here like, let's go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Like, like they, they like, stopped I'm like us. taking selfies. I'm like, front row like like we're just like <laughs> like they stopped us yeah. there's nobody in front of us like that cart yeah. is going and another cart is pulling like, up like we are 100 percent getting like row. i'm turning around to the people behind me i'm like you lose we <laughs> win like i'm high-fiving people like i called up like the ceo of universal I'm like, you need a yes, warning that win. like this is a dramatic uh, dramatization or how like, you say I'm, that I'm just like like i break dance for a little bit on the ground and then so the cart pulls up yeah and they tell you what row to get in. Mm -hmm. And they're like, row two. And I'm like, what do you mean row two? We're row one. And so the cart that was... Um, our cart. Our cart. Front row was broken. Mm -hmm. They had that, that one shut down. Front row 
was broken and we could not have been any matter <laughs> like I, not, not like actually it mad. was just like so disappointed we were so sad yeah i had to go back and take like i had to take back all my high fives and stuff <sighs> like i was oh it was so terrible it was so like it was just like we were so pumped and then they were just like nope what's up don't believe anything i say <laughs> correct correct <laughs> <laughs> correct <laughs> but yeah so we um anna got she got shafted out of front row mm -hmm. some people do like the sidecar better we like the bike personally yeah. um it just it's i don't know it feels like you're riding a bike because i'm never gonna ride a motorcycle because i would probably crash and kill myself so it's closest i'm gonna get um yeah i was like grabbing people's wrists like i was like give me <laughs> There's a table there, and you just whacked not only my hand, but like my scar. I just, I just took Anna's high five back too. But I was taking people's hand. And I was like, "Give me, give me that," and like taking it back. That's how it works, guys. You gotta take back the high fives. I'm sorry, I hit your hand. You like scraped my scar. It's I'm sorry. still like, I mean, it's been over. Is it a hurting? Year. Is Voldemort talking about you? Uh, Elmer. Such an idiot. Elmer. <laughs> Uh, new sub from New York City visiting. Oh man, we want to come up to New York City and see the store. Yeah, like so try bad. That, try that butter beer. The butter beer bar. That sounds awesome. Oh. Uh, visiting Orlando the first week of June. How can I get done at Universal in a short window of an afternoon till closing? How, how much? Mu oh, how how much? It depends. Um, it depends on the crowds. Early June mm. is way less busy than like late June, July. Yeah. So. Um, and if you have Express, you can get a lot more done. We would probably suggest just having an afternoon to pick one park, either studios or islands, yeah. and just stick to it. Just um, make the loop. Yeah, and just get as much done as you can. Um, yeah. That 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 would be our um, Express, suggestion. Yeah, Express is going to help you get more. Like we and, hate telling people to buy Express Pass because it's like, did we hit this one? Did we? I uh, can't. Yeah, ten days. Yeah. Yeah, fourteen hours in line. Yeah, okay. day. Yeah, we did. Um, like, we don't like telling people to buy Express because they are expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get as much done in a short amount of period, Express is going to be the best yes. thing that you and, can do. And it may be possible. Um, we would suggest calling and seeing if you could purchase a limited one park Express after four. Um, I didn't know that they actually, like, sold those tickets individually. But on our trip in March, we, like, at the Express kiosk right inside um, Universal Studios, they were telling people that the only one they had for sale were um you're good the only one that they had for sale were uh the limited one park express after four and so that's going to be cheaper yeah. than an unlimited like two yeah. park express or anything because you don't at, at the very least buy the limited one yeah. i would say because yeah. you're just going to be hopping from thing to thing. loki be careful um we heard we were supposed to get some rough storms here in tennessee like in our part of tennessee as well later tonight no, i think he's saying he's Severe seeing storm. bad storms for Tennessee. He's worried about us. Loki lives in Tennessee. Oh, oh, my bad. Yes. I, I will I will keep up. I did not. I will keep up. <laughs> Tyler, no. Tyler's he he's the rememberer. Um and I the have, remember all. Yeah, yes, he's the remember all. When I turn um, red, it means you forgot something. <laughs> I have teacher brain where like I, names and things like that are just like in one ear and out the other. Um, like I remember faces, but it's funny. Like even in the hallways at school, I'll see a kid and I'm like, Hey kid. I know the face, but just like the name. Oh, um, oh. so like, I don't remember things like that. Char. Ooh, happy Hi. sweet 16. Oh, you kid for taking our kid for her sweet 16 That's weekend so after exciting. Easter. We Hoping it'll be less crowded time. than it's been for our first time. Our EA is 7 a.m. Um, with guest services. Be Will guest services be able to pick up her annual pass? I'm um, uh, so it depends. I don't know when the park's open that day. I, well, so here's what I would say if you're staying on site, um, you can pick up the annual pass if it's paid in full at your hotel room. Um, and it will definitely be open. Someone yeah. will go, like, you could do it that night when you check in, even yeah. if like there's nobody at that counter. If you walk over there, like the yeah. person at the front desk will, will go help you. Um, so deal with that if you can deal with it at your hotel. Um, that is absolutely what what I would suggest of doing. Good to see you, Chris. 
Bye. Bye, Chris. Thanks for joining us. You can get a birthday button, too. That's a great point, Barry. <laughs> Mike, and in the hallways with a, hi, you. Yep, that's me. That's She does that to me, too, Mike. I'll walk in sometimes. She's like, hey, you. Uh, no, I'll, I'll usually, like, if it's a boy, I'll be like, hey, bud. Or, like, some, you know, just some <laughs> generic. <laughs> hey, bud. Like, I just love how it has to be a guy to be like, hey, bud. <laughs> I mean, I just, it's okay. Give it me. It's okay. Give it me crap. It's okay. Uh, let's see. James, super HP Harry Potter fans here, Slytherin. Not a bad house. <laughs> um, going to plan the most authentic route for her. Do you already do have a to do video that goes along with book movies? We oh, don't. We don't. We've, we, we, that's probably coming. Right. Well, so right now, when we visit the parks, we're trying to get so much content at yeah. one time that doing like an all day video, which something like that would probably be an all day video. Yeah. Um, we just don't have the time for it. We so. promise the videos will get better um, <laughs> as we can just record one a day. Right now, what people don't realize is like we're recording three. Two to three a day. Yeah. Sometimes four. Yeah. Videos in a single day at the parks. So like we're just pressed for time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so excited about potentially being down there and like like focusing so much on one video where there's like more content it's more action-packed it's more yeah it's we, more would, we would love to increase the length of our videos but when we're trying to cram oh. you know six eight videos in a, in two days like we just we just don't have the time thank you watchdog um yeah. we uh we really appreciate that so sweet y'all are y'all are too sweet i should box mr beast <laughs> jimmy doesn't have a chance <laughs> Uh, that would. I, Jimmy I'm, doesn't have a chance. We're all in for that. You just tell Mr. Beast. I said. Yeah, he you tell Mr. Beast that to contact that, me. Yeah. To, I mean, to actually, I don't. I don't have Tyler of the. I don't, ha I don't have time to talk to him. Tell him to contact my people. What <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. Contact Anna. <laughs> just tell him to contact Anna, and we can arrange something. It's oh, not a shoot. big do. Shoo. <laughs> No one makes me I would watch a four-hour video. Hey, Tabs, mm -hmm. listen. Don't tempt us. <laughs> <laughs> what, a four-hour video? A four-hour video. We answered this, right? Yes. Yes, the sweet tasty. Yeah, okay. Just make, I like to make sure. <laughs> yeah, don't tempt us. Uh, if, yeah, if you can get Mr. Beast in on that, we're, yeah, uh, I mean, we're all in. Yeah, I'll, I'll box I'll box Mr. Beast or whatever, and then I'll eat one of his candy bars. I don't care. He has candy bars? Yeah. Beast bars or something like that. I don't know. The guy has everything. Like, just ask a question. I didn't know he had candy bars. <laughs> Woo! Uh, which is best? Sandals for torrential downpours or sneakers for long days to walk in? Huh. I mean... Oh, uh, sneakers. We suggest tennis shoes. Yeah, uh, tennis shoes. And then if it's going to rain, I, you could bring it. Like, Throw I, some sand, like some sandals some in your backpack floppies. or something. You're going to put some flippy floppies. <laughs> the swim trunks and my flippy floppies. Hey, guys, get this trending. Um, <laughs> get <the laughs> tag Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and tag. Go ahead and tag Mr. Beast, please. Uh, <laughs> It's like jump change to him. Yeah. Nah. Ooh, that's hilarious. Y'all made us laugh. Yeah. Uh Crocs. We see a lot of people wearing Crocs in the yeah, parks. We see a like, ton of people wearing Crocs. I, I, I'm gonna stick with tennis shoes, but I, I wear Crocs. I don't wear Crocs in the parks, but I wear Crocs. I mean <laughs> we, we got those fuzzy winter ones. Yeah. We won't need those when we go to Orlando. Oh. Crocs are packed. Crocs are packed. Bring the rain. <laughs> Uh, they are the ultimate off-road and shoe aren't they <laughs> just They're... slip on that safety strap anytime you need it i'm staring at the chat too much like i feel bad because like i need to be making not... i've heard that you're supposed to make eye contact you're so. gonna make it creepy <laughs> <laughs> i lost i lost focus for a minute guys. <laughs> like we said this always goes off the rails Somebody is good at making that happen. It's not me. Okay. Baloney. I'm from Tampa. That's cool. This is all about wearing Crocs and not flip-flops. Well, well, like you have to wear Crocs and not flip-flops. 
Woo! Is that what you're saying? I think I think that is what they are implying. Yeah. It's perfect. Jessie. Here's Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Kiddo, say hi. Hi, guys. Cowgirl boots for the trips are the best. Okay. You must have some comfortable cowgirl boots. That we love it. We love A- it. Alex. Alex, I like your style. Though. Yes. Love I like your, your style. style. We appreciate it, but thank you. Tell the kiddos we said hello. If y'all are watching, hello, kiddos. Hi, kiddos. That is what we call you, regardless. Yes, you're y'all the are kiddos. just y'all are just the kiddos now. Mm-hmm. No, oh no, we, they were flip flops. <laughs> Blame the Yay, dogs. The dogs out. don't get blamed for anything other than like eating way too much food. Moose almost ate one of my AirPods this morning. So tell tell them about Moose. So he's. He's a turd. He's a very smart turd. And so this morning I was getting ready to leave for work and I had one AirPod in and then I had the other one in the case in my pocket and I bent down to like grab my shoes or something and the case fell out of my pocket and it opened and the extra AirPod AirPod fell out. Okay. And I was looking for it. Here we can. Hi zombie. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, no. There we go. Wishing you all a great live stream. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Too sweet. Too sweet, too sweet. Um, But anyway, so it went skidding across. like, And the only reason I knew I didn't hear it or anything is when I picked up the case, it wasn't in there. And I was like, crap. And so I started looking for it. And it landed like between Moose's paws. And he wasn't touching it. No, like it was just laying there. No, but he will give you like this, like he'll look at it and he'll look at you almost like, mm-hmm you want this <laughs> yeah and so and i was like oh no 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 and i went to grab it and he was like oh <laughs> and like scooped it <laughs> up in his sta- mouth and he'll just stare at you and no well he started to run away with it because he oh. knew i really wanted it because i was like oh my god and like went to grab it and uh so his favorite food is marshmallows so i was like no no no, no. you want a marshmallow you want a marshmallow and i was like running into the kitchen and when he heard me hit like the the top we had one of those like like seal like air sealed yeah and yeah. so when i hit the thing he only came... fresh marshmallows for our dogs <laughs> he came yeah they can't be still he came running in and i grabbed a couple marshmallows and what's funny is like you can't just hand him the marshmallow because he'll run back to whatever he has and <laughs> milk more marshmallows out of it yeah like he, he's so, very smart so what you gotta do is you gotta stand right by the kitchen island you gotta have a couple marshmallows in each hand throw them on both sides because Gino gets some and Moose gets some. Yeah. And then you got to run and figure out wherever he dropped it. Yeah. And so I, you know, I had to do that. The AirPods fine. It's Cause, so cause I've made the mistake of him having like the TV remote. And I said the TV remote <laughs> and he'll just be like, he'll like have it. And I'm like, Hey, bud, here's a marshmallow. And you, <laughs> and you, boy. and you give him the marshmallow. And I don't know if y'all know this about dogs, they're extremely fast <laughs> and, and you can't outright just be like, like you can't I'll... outrun them to the remote. No. So I'm like, he drops the remote. And I'm like, here you go. Here's some marshmallow. And he's like, mm, that's good. And I'm going to go get this remote. <laughs> and then you're going to give me another marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. So you got to throw it on the ground and make them search for it. Yeah. Um, he's not destructive either. Like, it's not like when he gets it, he's going to hurt it. No, he just, he, he, he holds, holds things ransom. Yeah. Like we tried to teach him drop it when he was a puppy. And all that he learned was, hmm, if I take things that you don't want me to have, I get food for it. Yeah. And, and like, what's funny is like, if you try to offer him something that's like not high enough value, like if you tried to offer him like one of those crappy, like dry biscuit treats, he'd He's be like, like nah. nah, like, nah, no, I I'll take this. Yeah, I don't barter like yeah. that. <laughs> Make it two of those and we got to do it. Like, he's marshmallows are nothing. Yeah, Mom. he's he's really funny. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, sorry, I missed saying hi. Uh, the last of the part. Oh, <laughs> we walk quick, we're always in a hurry. We're uh, sorry, sorry, we are always in a, a hurry. We hope we see you again because we love saying hi to you guys. Catman do MCO. I like it. Yeah, we we love seeing you guys, like, we love. Like we we had a few messages of people being like, hey, we didn't want to bother you, but we saw yeah. you. You're never bothering us. Yeah, no, come please, say hi. Please come say hello. Come say hi. We love it. Um, dogs like Parmesan cheese, right? Um, yeah, their favorite is like the crappy American cheese. We yeah. buy giant things of that at at Sam's. Barry, we have yeah. never taken the dogs to Universal. I like that would be awesome. I, their paws, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do well. No, our dogs are a little bit like sissy, prissy. Like, they just don't, they don't do well in heat. Yeah, they're prissy. Yeah. 
Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're they're spoiled inside. They're spoiled boys. is what I would go with. Yes, they're inside boys. Th- they are air conditioned. Just yell Fawina. <laughs> that would we would stop. What are your favorite food options? In, so, so real quick, somebody said yell Fawina. The last time we were in the parks, we're walking by somebody and they go, "Roar!" I'm, not the last time. It was the time before. They're like, "Roar!" I'm a raptor, and of course it got our attention. <laughs> yeah, and then like the people that they were with were like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Like yes. so confused and we were laughing. What are your favorite food options in the parks? I normally don't eat at the parks, but I'm going next week with school and we get meals included. So I want to try some food. The crepes at, I, we, I know we talked about the same stuff every once in a while. The yes. crepes yes. are incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and those are at Central Park Crepes over in Studios. Mm-hmm. And then the tots at Green Eggs at Ham are in Islands of Adventure. Yes. Must try. Those are our two favorites. Also, Louis Pizza. Very good. Very good pizza. Jenny Woodworth, thank you for the super chat. Can you buy HHN tickets, Jess? And what are your tips for that? Also, Butterbeer is new in New York. was way better than regular one in Universal. Ooh. Ooh, now we're intrigued. You can go ahead and buy tickets. Yes, they're on sale on Universal's website and on the mobile app. Yeah, um, we personally buy them. Like, So we, we plan on buying the multi-day tickets if and when they are released. Mm-hmm. What you can do with the with tickets, though, is you can go ahead and purchase tickets. Right. And then you can take what you've put down on those tickets mm-hmm. and apply it to a multi-day ticket if yes, you, you, can, if you, you need can, the extra days. You can upgrade. Yeah, yeah, you can upgrade. James Derek, thank you for joining the channel membership. Thank you. Um you're yeah. you're you're one of them now. So <laughs> you have to deal with some of our posts and stuff that we put on there. Enjoy that. But thank, Make it thank, sound daunting or something. No, no, thank you so much. Ashley Tinsley. Oh, only oh. eat freeze-dried chicken for treats. Oh, uh, Moose loves like the liver treats. Ooh. We had the pleasure of meeting Ashley. and Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we did. And her husband. I didn't on, even read the name. Yeah. On, uh, Sometime. Was, it, was it Saturday? I don't know. I, was, I think it was Sunday. It was like trip, I think it was our last day. That trip was a blur. Like I think it, was it was our last day. Literally a blur. I could but, be wrong. I think it was Saturday. But yeah. or it could I guess. It she said Saturday. thanks for meeting us on Saturday. I, I'm saying I think it was Sunday. But whatever. It doesn't matter. It was a pleasure meeting y'all. It was a pleasure talking with y'all. Um <laughs> I, I, I just You're I, bananas. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I am that way. But it was awesome. It was awesome talking with y'all, and y'all were y'all were so sweet. Yeah, it's so nice. So so nice. Dogs are so funny. Moose is um spoiled. What do we do? Bye, Samantha. Bye. Mwah. Have a good night. <laughs> oh man. We try to be helpful. Um, uh, sometimes we're more successful than others, but mm-hmm. we try to be. We what do. do you guys do for a living? I'm a teacher. I teach um, high school science. Where is that? At? There, there it is. is. Um, yeah. So I, Anna teaches high school science mm-hmm. and I sell pieces of land. Yeah. I'm a real, I'm, I'm a, I'm a realtor. <laughs> sell pieces of land. <laughs> yeah. I'm a realtor. <laughs> it was, it's just more fun to like, uh, like I like to, Sometimes it's more fun to just say things in like the most like not. It's like like a uh, like describe describe a movie in in a weird way. Yeah, yeah like those kind of things. <laughs> Webcam models is what they do. Yeah. I I, uh, I pay I uh, I pay people to evict them out of their homes. <laughs> Interesting. And Anna talks at Anna talks at young adults all day. I talk at children. Yes, teenagers. I talk at them and they ignore me. That's what happens. <laughs> so last stop. What would have made this comment better? Let me just let let me just put my spin on it. You should have said I work from home so I don't have to wear pants. Laugh out loud, JK, I don't work from home. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it should have just been like, JK, I don't work from home. <laughs> but I still don't wear pants yeah, but at I, work. But I still don't wear pants at work. Yeah, that would have been that would have been the good spin, <laughs> spin on it. Shoo, uh, I'm me. just sitting here staring at Chad. I'm sorry. I will look y'all. I'm just, I'm just staring eyes. at myself. I can't help it. Well, I like what to make sure. What do you mean sure- by that? 
Like, I don't want to, like, look like a dodo bird. What do you mean by that? I, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm looking at the chat, too. Talking. Here we go. Talking to kids is good practice for talking to Tyler. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Lots of they they take a lot of the like similar tactics um, in their conversation. <laughs> What's your favorite season to go to Universal? The cold one. The the fall like <laughs> fall for HHM. The only complaint that we have, Crystal, is that it's too hot. I wish it was like. 60s and 70s yeah in the fall like it would be so cool to go to hhn one night and it'd be like 55 like you have to wear sweatshirts right because like, like be so cool so part of that comes from like when we were kids like during halloween it was always cool or cold yes because you know in Oct the end, very end of october starting november like you know it's getting close to it's late fall getting close to winter you know and it's cold in yeah. tennessee and so like that's part of halloween for us is that like cool air and like the leaves changing so it's a little um it's a little weird when it's so hot i'm yeah i'm only staying one night at the hard rock and we'll be going to the parks on the day after sorry excuse me i will have to will i have to move my car to the main parking lot or will i be able to keep my car at the hotel i believe you can keep your car at the hotel they'll ask you if you're staying uh -huh. and then you'll pay an overnight rate and then you'll pay a daily park rate i'm pretty sure like a day, like I I'm pretty sure, because um, right. well, they ask you about we'll let, that. We'll let Tyler um, take that. We would just double check with them um, when you like. You know, you can like text to check out, but we would just drop by the front desk yeah, before just you head ask. to the park. But, but be I like, think hey. you, have to, you can, I think you can leave it there, but you have to pay to leave it there. Yeah, play, play Nick it. and I are trying to go to Volcano Bay this summer. Does it get super busy? We've never been so Volcano Bay. And hey, thanks for joining us, Mouse Fives. Y'all are awesome. Um, we. We love Volcano Bay. Um, it does get busy. Like when it's hot, people are like, you know what I want to do? I want to be in water. And so yeah, Volcano Bay does get busy. Like there's days that it'll sell out uh, for sure. Yeah. So we would purchase your tickets in advance. We would make sure yes. that you have um, go ahead. and Like if there's a date that you're wanting to be there, go ahead and get a dated ticket so that you're guaranteed entry. Right. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing about Volcano Bay, even when it's busy, is that they have the tap to ride system where, you know, you just like scan your thing and then you get a return time and your watch like buzzes you when it's your time to go. Um, but also they have some attractions that are just like enjoy at will, like yeah. the the little like wave pool, you know, yeah. right in front of the volcano and the uh, Fearless River and the Lazy River. So like what we would do is just like go tap your bracelet on something you want to ride and then go, you know, grab a life vest and hop in the fearless river and go play around. So like there's stuff to do where, you know, like I, I guess at the theme in the like, like studios and islands or shows and stuff, but like there's still attractions that you can participate in um, while you're virtually waiting in line. For and something. Volcano Bay has some of the most underrated food there is anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like as far as parks, like, not, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, it has real, there's some really good food at Volcano Bay that yeah. doesn't get talked about nearly enough. We need to make a video on the food at Volcano Bay. We just, yes, we, we need to make <laughs> Volcano Bay. We Mouse need to get down join. there more, but. Mouse Vibes can join the video. Yeah. <laughs> Come hang out. Uh, just got off work. Hey guys. Hello, Amber. Hi, Amber. I hope your day at work wasn't too bad. Um, and now you're joining us, so it's, you know, <laughs> Get, getting worse. It's getting things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. Things oh are getting worse gosh. for you. But uh, wish they had a few more activities in City Walk instead of just dining options. So they have some cliche. Uh, I believe it was announced not terribly long ago, and mm -hmm. they should be open for when you're here. Uh, I believe they're opening up a couple. Uh, they have the pup up course. They have the cinema, mm -hmm. but I believe they're opening up. Um, they're opening up a couple of escape rooms. Okay, uh, I believe that's at the end. Then there's supposedly there's something else. I, we don't know. I don't know what it is, but supposedly something else is coming. So we'll just have to wait and see but there should be some more things popping up as you are <laughs> you could just ride there. you could just ride the um the water taxis back and forth yeah escape rooms yes sorry guys i got hung out i got hung up on what i was saying you, you can just ride i the, do that a lot ride the water taxi to like different hotels just for fun <laughs> somebody this might be uh make sure you really rinse your kids off well before leaving yeah good probably a good point <laughs> Yeah, there is sand everywhere. There, yeah, there, there. Yeah, like, um, which is interesting. 
Um, but yeah, there is sand. Also for Volcano Bay, definitely want to have some water shoes because like the concrete gets sandy. Um, and then like it, it it's abrasive if you're barefoot. Like you don't have to have shoes on, but like it, it kind of hurts if you're barefoot. Yeah. And it's like deep sand. So that's why the food has to be so good is because like you burn so many calories walking in it. <laughs> that's that's what i'm gonna say at least but the food was really good yeah like i remember just being like ranking stuff is like the not so lazy river did y'all just hear gino snore (laughs) he's outside the door yeah the not so lazy river the food the not so lazy (laughs) river the aqua coaster Uh all the drop slides Mm -hmm. the not so lazy river that that thing is like I, I just want to spend all day in there. Like, if we move down to Orlando, like, literally... Rencio kids, Rencio like, wife. <laughs> I saw that. Literally every other day is going to be like, you want to go to the... You want to go hang out in the Fearless River at Volcano Bay? Yeah, like... And there's, like, different exits, and we would just be like, I think this is the wrong exit, just to make another lap on it, so... <laughs> We literally, like, it only goes around, like, half of the park, and we use it as a transportation system. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, it's quicker to get to that attraction if we hop in the Fearless River and get out at, at the third exit, yeah. which was like the exact same one we were at. <laughs> um, three broomsticks versus Leaky Cauldron, if we had to pick one. They're so similar. The, they're similar, mm-hmm. but for me, mm-hmm. there's something about eating at the Leaky Cauldron. I like the inside of the Leaky the Cauldron atmosphere. better. I like the atmosphere there better. I would agree with that, and, yes. And... I think that they're. Uh, it should be the same food, but I feel like their chip, their their uh, fish and chips is better. Um, I, I I will agree that the atmosphere um, at the at the Leaky Cauldron, the yeah. ambiance is yeah. better. Like I feel like I feel like the fish and chips is better. It, it's probably cooked. It's probably the exact same. Like they're probably there might be a place. A magical place because it's the wizarding world where they just like reach in and grab it from the same location but <laughs> it tastes better oh man uh so yeah i'm gonna go with leaky cauldron mm. whoa you're making me hungry what uh Ooh. oh nothing it's all good i just making sure everything was okay uh not including weasley's what store is I in? oh a must do store honey dukes Honey Dukes, like so much Honey Dukes, like Honey Dukes is f- probably my favorite store outside of the Weasleys. Yeah, period. Like Honey Dukes is awesome. Sugar Plums is fine, but it's not Honey Dukes. Same stuff, not Honey Dukes. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's there's just something special about going to Honey Dukes, yeah. like they do in the movies. That's it. It's just the branding. Um, like Tyler said, it's all it's all the same. So. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Only taking mobile orders via the app. Um, huh. If so, we have been when they were doing that, and if you don't like have a phone or something like that, they will help you. Um, but this is good information for people, just in case it says uh, that currently Re- Leaky Cauldron is only taking mobile orders via the app. Once you place the order, you they'll seat you inside. So that's good to know for people that are headed there. So well, so the the reason they do that is to um, help with the line to some degree because um, and, and it it helps with like workers. I think they started doing this when they were having issues with with people yeah. because then they don't have to have as many people behind cashiers uh, yeah. that you know behind the uh, machines taking orders, and you can put it in and order it, and then um, they'll they'll seat you, and, and people will just bring you your food out. So. Hey Jessica, um, any tips on getting my eleven year old picked olivanders? Put them up front. Have them wearing some some house stuff we've heard that helps um also um try to go when there's less people in line so yep. like early, early or admission. late yep. um yeah that, that could help but we haven't ever been picked either right so. well because if there's fewer people in the show you know just statistically you have a greater chance yeah great david staying at disney and taking an uber to universe for two days so fun can we run most of the rides without express pass uh depends on when you're going david yeah. um like if and you're going when it's really busy It'll be hard um, to ride most of the rides in two days. Right. Um, it's probably possible, but it'll it'll be really hard because I mean, there's some of these attractions that are probably going to be a two hour wait. Well, and it also depends what you consider like 
most of the rides. You know, like it really depends on on. Yeah, how like fifty one percent, most of them. <laughs> well, but I'm just saying, good. I'm just saying, like if you include all of the little kitty rides and things like that, because even when it's busy, like some of the uh, the kitty attractions get long waits. Like the uh, mm -hmm. the kitty coasters, um, Hippogriff and Woody Woodpeckers, like they only have one train that runs because the cart or the track is so short they don't have the space to have more than one and so those wait times get high like yeah. pretty quickly because you know it doesn't take very many people for it to be you know a 60 minute wait versus like velocicoaster which gets people in and out in 30 seconds yeah um i don't know what you were referring to tabs but i saw the team members are super nice we just want to say like because i don't think it gets said enough by anybody and like even we forget to mention it from time to time mm -hmm. the team members at universal are some of the like they make our trip better every time that we're down there yeah. every single time that we're down there the team members do something to go above and beyond and they make your trip better always just like say thank you every once in a while to them say thank you tell them like they're doing a good job like just just let them know that like hey like we appreciate you just every once in a while because like they really do add to the magic and the experience yeah. of going there. And it's just like we're blown away every single time that we're down there of what a team member does for not not like just for us. Like we see them do something for a family or well, something else. It, and it's just it like it kind of it it's really touching. It's honestly. just little things like people like um team members in the wizarding world being like, Oh, like what house are you in? or yeah. you know, like uh, oh, you're a, you know, if you have like a Gryffindor thing on, they'll, they'll just make comments like yeah. that. And it just, it, it just makes the experience better. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much. Another, another day, another adventure. Thank you so much. We love it. But yeah, the team members are, are incredible. Like, they really are. Uh, I'm Ghost Road. <laughs> I had to. Uh, will it be busy May 21st through 28th at Universal? Will be my son and I first time. I'm trying to make it very special. I'm planning on to purpose to my girlfriend of 10 years and propose Pur purpose they meant propose i was just saying like that's why i read it oh yeah um, um yes so Clearwater is beautiful yes that's a great place to propose um you know may late may is generally okay mm -hmm. like so as long as you get there before um memorial day yeah yeah memorial day weekend um and like specifically it's like memorial day weekend kind of sparks like when kids get out of school and that's when like summer starts so that's like from there on is when it gets busy but prior to that it shouldn't be too bad but this year has kind of been unprecedented with crowd levels so yeah. you know we're not gonna like promise anything, anything but it, sh it shouldn't be as bad as like what we're seeing in the last few weeks yes absolutely and this this is very important mm -hmm. um so if you have a twitter I know not everybody has Twitter, but um, and if you don't, you can go to guest services. If if a team member does something that you really appreciate, you can do like you can say try to try to remember their name. Yeah, like try to look at their name. They'll tags, have a yeah, they'll have a name tag on. And be like, and you can get on Twitter and be like, hey, uh, you can tag tag Universal and be like, I want to give a big and then use this hashtag, hashtag UO, UO fist fist bumps, bumps. Um, to you know who like yeah be like hey um to, i want to give a hashtag you fist bump to uh, anna to, at the butterbeer cart yeah for making my day better or whatever yeah. like just you can you can all and it, they actually do um it does help them out as well like I, i'm not sure how the system works but they do get recognition for those fist bumps so yeah. Th that's always a great thing to do for them. yes yes they do they do, they do. <laughs> yes you can use the facebook group as well i should have mentioned that yeah, yeah. oh that's that's true for yeah you can use the that. facebook aloha jacks good to see you in here Hi. my fr our friend parks are packed today the mm. parks have been yeah, wild it's lately. still technically spring break which is insane the spring break spring break runs for a month and a half <laughs> the wrong one. Hey. there we go jive money uh i'm doing the dcp at disney and move and move down May 16th. Can I get my Universal Annual Pass online or should I wait until go for the first time? By the way, love the video. So we would suggest waiting until you officially move because then I think you can get the Florida resident rate. Yeah. Um, and if yeah. you're talking about moving, like if yes. you're actually going to be a Florida resident, we would wait because 
you'll save a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Suggest getting the Florida resident rate. Um, and then you can buy it online, but you still have to pick it up at the park. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, either one you want to do, I don't think it, it, as far as like timeliness, um, I don't think it really makes a difference. We purchase express passes, but also have that's the disability, the pass. disability pass. Are express passes really needed or could we do without them? You can do with, we never tell people that express passes are necessary. They're obviously always going to make your experience better better i mm -hmm. guess like more enjoyable but they're not necessary the aap uh, the aap pass is um we're glad that that's something that they offer mm -hmm. um but if, if if it's busy in the parks like whatever the posted wait time is you do have to wait that so there's obvious there's you just don't have to stay in line you just don't have to stay in line so there's right. there's obviously some attractions where it's gonna actually cost you some time to, mm -hmm. to use it um and that's just the nitro. Like, I mean, that's how they have to do right. it. Right, but I'm not sure how it works with like multiple attractions. I don't know if you, you can, can only you can only have queue, a return time. You can for only one. yeah, you can only have a return time for one. Okay. Oh, what? Um. Yeah, express passes aren't necessarily like they're not needed ever, but they do make a trip better necessarily. Yeah. Um, wings up. Wings <laughs> Yeah, of course. We've we've got to we've got to get to some of the comments. We've been behind just trying to get caught up on sleep and things from the from the trip. Oh, I know. So it's, it's we're been, we're going to catch up on those tonight. It's been a long week. Uh, what's worse, a freestyle machine with no ice? Fast, fast and, and, and fast That's and not even a question. Yeah, because Some, sometimes the drinks are still really cold. Uh huh. Yeah. We, yeah. We, it it makes us slightly sad when like it doesn't have ice and they're hot, but it's still better than no drink. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Mm. So we, we get it. We are going to go for about five more minutes. Any last minute questions that we've missed yeah. or anything? Um, any last minute questions? Anything like that? We would love to answer them. Um, what do we love about Universal more than Disney? So I've never necessarily been to Disney. But the easiest answer there it, for both of us is going to be Harry Potter. Because we both love Harry Potter. So, and we're like the more thrill rides, like, yes. like we're, we like thrill rides. So like having heavy thrill rides is awesome. Um, let's see. <laughs> Loki said they can put more ice in a freestyle machine. There's no help in fast and furious. That's true. <laughs> but you don't like that party bus, Loki? <laughs> So somebody said, "Can I? Could I stay offsite and Uber to Hard Rock and use their walking path to enter the park?" Technically, I guess you could. We might advise against it. Sometimes they kind of ask you, like, if you're staying at the resort when you get out of the car. Yeah. I don't um, know. That that's one that's, of those that's things. That's with that gray line because they have a drop off specific for Uber. Right. Right. That yes, that is one of those things where like if you got caught doing it they would be unhappy but like it would be difficult for them to catch you i guess yeah i don't know we we don't advise to do things against universal yeah rules universal because... rules set there for a reason it's just one of those things um how far is islands of adventure from hard rock uh six or seven minute walk yeah so it's like three or four minutes to studios and then studios to islands is uh, like... it's it's about a five minute walk just to studios depends on what day like first day five minute walk last day like 10 minute walk yeah because you're dragging yeah. and and so oh you're saying a two to three minute walk from studios to islands i got from you. studios to islands. i thought you were saying a two to three minute walk no, from no. the hard rock no, no, and no, i was no. like two, no it's no, a little two bit. three minutes from yeah. studio so like okay. eight minutes total yes yeah, yeah. yes it's 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 under a 10 minute walk what line should you not skip with express pass we have we not done that video no we started to but we didn't have uh footage of some of the keys there are several so that there we, are several yes we, we the harry potter rides we eventually plan on doing this video the harry potter rides for sure mm-hmm and then, of course, like if you're a fan of anything, like right. that, that makes a difference too, right? So, like if you're a Spider Man fan, well, I want to go through the Spider Man queue. If you're a King Kong fan, I want to go through the, which I think that queue's awesome. Anyways, yeah, Kong is cool. We're not even like a con. We're, we're like, no, not. I haven't seen, I don't know if I've seen any of the movies. Is the first week of Mardi Gras busy? The first week of Mardi Gras wasn't busy no. this year, like because it's just so early, like it's before Mardi yeah, Gras really right, matters. Right before spring break. I, I don't know why it just like shut down instantly. Like I popped up there, was like, ha, bye. <laughs> um, what's the mer? What's what's the must 
do thing for first timers. Get a freestyle cup. That's a good tip. Yeah, get a freestyle cup, but get a butter beer. Yes. No, like that's the must. Mm-hmm. Like you have to get a butter beer. But we actually Oops. did a video on that. Yeah, we have like, a video of like, like what, what yeah, it's like eight things to do for first timers. Yeah. yeah. Um oops. <laughs> Tennessee, I clicked the same one. Tennessee Tommy said hello humans. Hello, uh, Hi. Fe- hello, fellow human. Hi. That makes me wonder if you're human, Tommy. Yeah, are you a robot? <laughs> did you, you did you pick how many lights were in the were in the uh, were in the photos? <laughs> are you an alien? Um we we have not had the kitchen sink dessert. We need to. We're should ba- we do a video on that? <laughs> we should. We're bad about eating at the uh, hotels because we spend so much time in the parks. So, like, we're just we're just really bad about it, honestly. Um, but we need to. Anna is a robot. <laughs> Tabs just said you're a robot. And I'm not I, a robot. I agree, Tabs. I totally agree. That's not nice. I totally agree. Sorry. Uh, it was it was being loud. Um, let's see. Just trying to answer a few more questions. <laughs> Never got on the bus. Lucky you, Loki. <laughs> we have not seen any with a handle. The last one we got was super cool, though. We haven't seen any. Yes. We do like. No, I haven't seen the ones with a handle in like What's over up, a Adam? year. Hi. <laughs> oh, Christopher said, "Finally made it to a stream." Hi, you made it in the last yeah. We're we're few about minutes. to end, but you're here. That's all that matters. We are excited for HHN, and what are we wanting? Just whatever they'll give us. Yeah, I would love to see Stranger Things four. I, was I know that's like a, I know that's not like a popular thing. Like a lot of people hate that, that comes to the event, but we love Stranger Things. We do. And we're then, super excited for this last season. And the, and the, and the trailer the other day looks Chef's Kiss. <laughs> So. We're a big fan of, of Stranger Things. It's it's one of our favorites. One of our absolute favorites. Saw our video on Dockside. Any insider tips? We're not insiders. <laughs> We're not insider. I I mean, if you're just asking for tips at Dockside. I think that's what they're saying. I'm just saying. Uh, do the do the mobile express check-in. Because a mobile lot of people check-in. stay there. That's a good one. Yeah, that would be my tip. That's um, a good one. Sometimes those, bye, Dominic. Bye, guys. Sometimes those um, video or those emails get sorted into like spam. So check that. You should get it about like the day before. Um, you should get it. So would absolutely suggest doing that. But Weena, well, we got to see what the what's sticker the, what's the like. sticker. We got to see it. Even like a number one. Oh, because we're number one. <laughs> oh, that's about frozen butter beer. Frozen butter beer is number one. Got it, Foina. <laughs> Got it. We we get it. We're on the same page, Foina. Are you allowed to bring pets? Like to some certain, of the hotels. S- some of the hotels are pet mm-hmm. friendly. Yes, yeah, so you can't bring them in the park, though. So, if that's what you're asking. I'm excited for the you. Know, what is today? Is today the Wednesday, the 13th. So those will be announced Friday. Yes, Friday. Mm-hmm. So we'll get to tell you all about those. Yeah. We can't wait. We will definitely be there. At yeah, and we'll um, be and we'll be excited to help you all. Um, like we'll we'll probably help announce. Like uh, not we're not going to be officially helping them. We're I'm just saying like yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll share let, the we'll news. Let y'all know. We'll share the news with y'all because those do um, they, they do have the potential every, to sell yeah. out. So <laughs> y'all are too sweet. Um, peanut butter. Pie. Okay, all right. <laughs> Regular butter beer for life. Get out of here. Y'all know better. Y'all know better. Uh, Let's see. What are your must do's for the first time guests and the biggest mistakes to avoid as first time guests? I have a trip in May. Love your videos, by the way. Ooh. We actually have like both of those. We have videos. both those videos, but must do for first time guests. Hagrid's butter beer. Yeah. Like, I know those are both Harry Potter things. I'm trying to think of something. Get a, get a, get get a, a freestyle, freestyle cup. cup. Mistakes to avoid. Um, don't, don't, don't get so stressed out about yeah. like doing everything or like, you know, like just have fun, you know, cause yeah. a lot of people, they plan it to like a T like I, we've literally had people send us like a, like a out, like hour by hour, like itinerary Is this good? and it's like, and it's no, like just, just have fun. Just like, enjoy you know, your life. like have some priorities that you want to get done, but don't be that like strict and rigid frozen butter beers. <laughs> I shouldn't have even pulled that up. Thank you for the super chat, but 
<laughs> like y'all, y'all are using super chats to spread lies and we don't appreciate <laughs> it. Okay, guys. Oh man. We are going to end it. It didn't go yeah. too off the rails today. I'm proud of us. We made it through one without. I mean, oh, here. Welcome, but now we're going. <laughs> made it before. You... <laughs> yeah, you got here. It's awesome. You, you did it. Our next trip is in May. Yes. For sure coming up. For sure coming up. Don't worry about it. Yes. It is for sure coming up. But all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love you all. Y'all are incredible. Always fun. Keep being awesome. And thanks for being here. And we will see you. We'll have a video out Friday from this trip. Yes. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll be in touch. Bye, guys. Bye. See y'all. Toodaloo. <laughs> Sayonara. Adios. Bye. Later.